Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt, and this is the first video I'll be doing on a series of videos where I'll be walking you through uh, the assembly and finish of this Hawken Black Powder Rifle Kit. My dad gave it to me uh, a couple years ago for Christmas. Uh, he originally bought it for his dad like 40 years ago. Uh, he never got around to putting it together, so my dad kept it uh, in, you know, in a basement or closet or something for the past 40 years. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, we'll be putting together our own gun. There won't be another one like it in the world, you know, because it's gonna have it's gonna have our finishing touches on it, you know, our signature, so to speak. You know, all the critical components have been finished at the factory, so we're, you know, we're just we're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna blow ourselves up or anything. Uh, this is mostly uh, finishing and assembly work, drilling a couple holes, putting some nameplates on, things like that. Uh, but. Like I said, we'll be able to make it our own. You know, we'll, we can choose a finish for the, the stock. You know, we can you know, stain it or oil it or wax it or shellac it or something. You know, we'll have to do some, some research maybe and find what might be the most appropriate finish for something like that if you're actually going to use it for a hunting rifle. Uh, the brass, I don't think we'll do much to that other than maybe polish it up, um, maybe clear coat it so it doesn't tarnish. I don't know, but uh, I, I know the. Uh, the barrel's just steel, so that's gonna rust. You know, the instant you go outside, that's not cool. So we're gonna have to do something to the barrel. I know there's all sorts of options available uh, for, for finishing metal, uh, like, you know, black chrome or whatever. But I know um, right here in McHenry's handbook, there's all sorts of options too. So instead of sending parts out, you know, to be blued or whatever, we're gonna do our best, uh, I think, in the, in the spirit of the uh, manufacturer's original intent, uh, we're gonna try and do it ourselves. So when we're done sanding and polishing and assembling and, and finishing everything, then we'll uh, we'll take it out in the field. Uh, we'll load it up, take a few shots, try and get her sighted in, and um, then I think what we'll do is we'll uh, you know we'll start out buying those bullets. But where's the fun in that? I think we'll go and uh, we'll procure ourselves a little bullet mold and a little crucible or something to heat up some lead, pour it in there, make our own bullets, stick them in there and see how they fly compared to the factory bullets. I think that'd be fun. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll even get a chance to take her hunting next season and see how that goes. All right, this video is only the introduction. We're not actually gonna uh, start making any sawdust or uh, metal shavings today. Uh, I just kinda wanna let you know what the plan is. But before we go, let's crack her open and take a look, right? I love this packaging. I love the pictures. I love, you know, you can see over there. Apparently they make a 45 and a 50 caliber model. This right here is the 50 caliber model. So that's your big boy. Okay, so we got the shooting black powder guns manual. Oh, what do you know? Bullet molds right there. They've even got a page on how to mold your own bullets, muzzle velocity. Looks like they're talking about how much uh, powder you put in. So there's a whole science. We're probably gonna wanna pay some attention to that when it actually comes time to fire it. Again, here, here are these instructions I'm talking about. I love it. Look at it. Uh, not only is it is it nicer, I just love the, the way that these old instructions sound. Uh, the proper approach. The text of most instructions tend to revolve around such words as simple, quick, easy, enjoyable. Building your rifle will be enjoyable if you decide beforehand that you're going to take your time and that you're going to do the job properly. Simple, quick, easy, those words are out. I love it, it's so cool. So we got our instructions. Uh, okay, so here's our stock, looks like walnut. Uh, not much over there. Over here, here's, here's the barrel. Looks like it was at one point oiled. I can feel it's real sticky, so the oil's dried out. So we'll have to see, you know, we might have to, um, we might wanna work on that a little bit, get some of that oil cleaned off before we start filing, or that, that you know, that could just clog up our file. I don't know, we'll have to see. Put that back. Looks like we got our uh, a ramrod, safety tips, rubber band quit, 
box. It looks like someone's already opened this. It doesn't look like the tape broke. It looks like a knife. You know, someone cut it open. And we got all of our little packaged components. There's the, it's like the hammer, the spring. I, I wonder if the spring is still good. Maybe we'll have to replace it. I don't know. It, it looks pretty, it looks like it is under some tension. So I don't know if, if over time, you know, that can take a set. So, so we'll have to look at that. I know, uh, Think you want a strong spring because when this and the hammer comes down and hits the the uh the percussion cap you know there's pressure that builds up in the uh, in the bore and that pressure is going to push the bullet out but there's also going to be pressure pushing back up uh against the percussion cap so this hammer not only does it need to come down fast enough to ignite the percussion uh you know to ignite it but it needs to the spring needs to be tight enough to hold it down so that it doesn't open up, you know, and then, I don't know, I imagine you could either lose some pressure, maybe it could be dangerous, I don't know, so we'll have to look at that. Uh, this looks like the, the trigger assembly. Look, look, everything is still in its original packaging. How cool. Uh, okay, this, this is called a, uh, a, a double set trigger. There's two triggers, and I, I think how that works is, uh, I think you pull the hammer back with your thumb, and then you pull this one here, and this... This secondary trigger will make the primary trigger then a, a hair trigger. So like you can pull this uh, confidently knowing if you pull it back, the gun's not gonna fire, but now it's ready to fire with, you know, uh, just a little bit of force. Okay. Uh, we, got, uh, we got this thing here, probably does something. This one too does, does something, I don't know what. These look like almost all nameplates or something. I don't know. But I'm, I'm sure they do something. So we'll have to read the instructions. So uh, good thing we have them. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll put all that stuff back. This we're not gonna need to the end. Actually, let's take, let's take a closer look at the stock here. Oh, how cool. How cool, I don't, I mean, this has been sanded, but this has been, I don't get it. It looks like it's been like chiseled away. Like it doesn't look like a saw. It, it looks like, it looks like manual work. Like someone chewed it up with a, with a chisel. Of course they, they probably, had, you know, like a jig or something that protected all this stuff and the guy, I don't know how that works, but. But how cool, definitely walnut. I, I imagine, I mean, it looks pretty dry. It's It's been sitting around for 40 years. I, I don't know if, you know, if my dad kept it in the basement or whatever, the wood's probably really good, stable because all the moisture has been sucked out of it. Um, I have to think, uh, we're probably gonna wanna keep it in room temperature before we, you know, uh, we're gonna wanna keep it in the environment that it's gonna be used in, I think, you know, to maybe try to normalize it. I, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'm overthinking it as I tend to do, but, but wow, how cool. A little, little door here for, for something. I don't know if that's where you put your, uh, your patches maybe, I don't know. Nah, but. Very cool. I'm very excited about this. So, all right. So, so that's it. So th that's everything that we got. Uh, this looks like uh, background information, but the first step next week, okay, clamping the work surface. Yeah, they talk about flat. So they're probably talking about reference surfaces. There's probably some surfaces on here that were factory installed uh, for reference, you know, because if, if everything's all round, then you're not going to have a good surface to to, to reference against with the clamp. So we're gonna clamp that sucker down and we're gonna work the butt stat section. Figure one, there we go. So that's what we're gonna start working on next week. All right guys, thanks for watching this introduction. Uh, I hope you're as excited as I am to see how she comes together. And I'll see you next week when we're gonna start uh, making some sawdust. Have a good one.